This morning, just after 10.30am, uh, police arrested a 28-year-old man in relation to uh, the suspicious uh, disappearance of two men from Paddington, 26-year-old uh, Jesse Baird and 29-year-old uh, Luke Davies. He was arrested at Bondi, taken to Waverley Police Station, placed in custody. The update is, at this stage, charges have been submitted for two counts of murder. He will be formally refused bail by police and expected to uh, face court um, at some stage, whether it be today or tomorrow. Through the evidence that's been located to date, both the items in the skip bin that had uh, blood on them and, and uh, certain identification and other items, and through the examination of the crime scene at Paddington, where a large amount of blood was located, uh, police also located uh, a projectile at the premises at which had been discharged, and also uh, a fired cartridge case. This has now been uh, ballistically matched to a New South Wales Police firearm uh, and uh, forms part of the evidence and the, the alleged facts that have faced court for this 28-year-old man. Some other uh, information has come to hand uh, that was a white van that um, I think has been reported by witnesses, both uh, being seen at Paddington and also in the Cronulla area. Uh, we are still appealing in relation to that white van. Uh, that has been located in Grace Point today and that has been seized and will be forensically examined. That we will allege in court that van was used to uh, transport the bodies. We will allege in court transport the bodies um, and dispose of the bodies. So it's really important we get the movements um, in relation to uh, that van um, as hopefully we can find the bodies and this is important for the family. In terms of the family, our thoughts and condolences go out to the family. Uh, this is obviously, they've uh, received the news of, of the charging um, and, the, and then what the charges are, which is murder. So they've now, uh, they're obviously devastated by the news. Um, we believe there's sufficient evidence to pursue with those charges due to the evidence we've gleaned to date. Um, uh, continued support and contact will be with the family. Um, however, um, the news was obviously met with mixed emotion and it's a very tough day for them.